Hey Cancer, how are you doing? This reading is for Cancer for the second half of September, mid-month reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Cancer, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link, it will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. What's going on for the fabulous and most magical Cap cancerians what do you need to know what do you need to see for your highest good i just heard i got my mind on my money and my money on my mind <laughs> present time the four of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy what's coming towards you the seven of swords gemini libra and energy what you are focused on is the sun Major Arcana for Leo in your blocked and challenged position is the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and your outcome is the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Cancer, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Underneath the deck, you have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is about sacred knowledge and wisdom. It's about trusting your gut feelings. It's also secrecy or mystery, some kind of truth that has been withheld. Either you have been avoiding of wanting to see the truth of the situation or the matter. And this could have something to do with finances because things are up in the air. Or there's a little bit of tossing and turning in some kind of situation. But this is going to be like clarity, truth, elimination. Some kind of hidden truth, deceptive behavior, secrecy, or there's something mysterious about you. So very alluring, because this is a very attractive energy that you are in, a very powerful energy. And the sun is fertility, passion, excitement, achievement, goals being reached, and being very strategic about it. Making swift, quick movements and not telling a lot of people your beeswax. Present time, you have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is bored, discontent, and dissatisfaction. And that can be in any area of your life. So your outcome is to weigh up your options. This is about the pros and cons to this situation. Do I invest in this or don't I invest in this? Or are you shying away from some kind of situation? Or exposing somebody's truth? Or somebody is being exposed right now. That can be a liar, cheater, stealer, thief. Somebody who thieves your time, your money, your energy. And here, it's like disappointment in some kind of person or situation. And Four of Cups, watch the complainers. The boo-hooers. Boo-hoo, poor me, Cancer. Poor, poor me. Why aren't you investing in me? So again, it might have something about finances. So be quiet about what you are making and where you are going in life. This is a very expansive energy and a thriving energy. That also can be like vacation, travel, relocation, and move for some kind of job and career. But there's somebody who wants to steal this investment from you or opportunity. Four of Cups is you being distracted on what this person's doing, on what that person's doing, being distracted on social media. So stay on task or there's a lot of complainers. And if you're complaining here or bored or discontent and dissatisfied in any situation, deceptive behavior towards yourself where you're like, no, you know, it's okay. It's not that bad. Well, it's like you're going to get something cleared up here or a truth bomb. This could be your truth bomb or the get up and go energy, the sudden change in focus, the sudden change in direction that you're in here. And the hangman, major arcana for Pisces. Wow, that's a beautiful energy. Take a pause, take a breather, and then let your uniqueness shine right here with the sun. This is a very positive card. It's about getting a lot of attention Or somebody here, this is like waking up, an awakening. 
new way of thinking and a new way of understanding a situation or a new way of thinking and understanding for yourself. So let's see what this Seven of Swords is. Seven of Swords is like somebody, uh, like a thief in the night or deceptive behavior, cutting any kind of deceptive behavior out of this hangman's mode. What do I need to release and let go and sacrifice that is stealing my energy, that is stealing my ideas, that is riding my coattail? Because that's like having a motive or an agenda attached. And the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Avoid making any kind of cemented commitment at this time. Because there is some kind of running away from a Ten of Cups. And whatever your Ten of Cups is, because that is like happiness or returning to good health and healing healing finances or there's somebody closer like you know how they say keep your friends close and your enemies closer I feel like there might be a friend or somebody close to you whether this is job and career where you feel like this person's loyal to you they're not but this can also be you being like why am I energetically hanging on to something that doesn't work for me right? Because emotional, this is an emotional withdrawal. And it speaks of physically withdrawing from some kind of commitment. And that could be job and career. And it's like, oh, aha. This is like I said, you seeing the truth of like, uh, I might be living a lie. I, I can't stand my job, right? Or this relationship isn't the ultimate fulfillment for me. And I'm, I'm no longer being deceptive towards myself or investing in this. And there also could be somebody who is avoidant. So somebody doesn't want to have some kind of conversation, which is the Knight of Swords right here. What is the Sun card? And the Ace of Wands. Wow. Well, that's highlighting a brand new beginning, new opportunity. This is also taking back power and control in your own life. Enthusiasm, passion, excitement creativity some of you are extremely creative in the artsy fartsy as I like to call it but really good with your hands and this is a very beautiful healing energy high vibrational energy and high vibrational energy can attract in the good bad and the ugly six of swords it's telling you to move forward or move forward with what your plans are Needing to let go of any kind of baiting or hooking or power and control dynamics. So somebody baits and hooks you into fights and arguments all the time. It's because they want to gain power and control in the relationship. And that can be job and career. But it's telling you right now, don't commit to anything solid because there's something really good here, new on the horizon. And then you're going to be like, oh my goodness, this brand new opportunity is coming in. Now, I've got to juggle things around. But you could also be dealing with a juggler. Like this person has an agenda or a motive of, you know, I'm going to pretend that I'm in a relationship, but I'm actually sneaking away. But that can also be you. And it's just you need to get honest with yourself of what is stagnating your own growth. Is family holding you back? Old beliefs, old habits, old patterns? A new way of thinking and a new way of understanding of what is draining your energy or distracting you from the ultimate happiness or passion or excitement or sensuality, sexuality, the way that you stand out in the spotlight. It's like somebody doesn't like you shining. And it's somebody close to home. Knight of Swords in your blocked and challenged position. This is like information coming in out of left field. So it's pushy or blunt or forceful. So if there is an energy that has been pushy or forceful with you, you might be blocking this person. Be like, don't push my buttons. 
But this Knight of Swords is the get up and go energy, the sudden change in direction and focus for you. But there's something about you still looking at a past situation because see how you're veering over here. So it's like being deceptive towards yourself, looking at some kind of past situation. This energy is going this way. So forward thinking for you here. There also could be like, like I said, communication coming in out of left field. This person will distract you. This is like impulsivity, impulsivity, doing something impulsive or somebody is quite impulsive around you. So don't rush to sign anything because the seven of swords is, you know, bits and pieces of the information, but somebody is not fully exclude, um, like, um, fully being transparent of these five of swords right here. So there's some kind of deeper information that you don't know the full story. Or maybe you've been like, oh yeah, no, I just love my relationship. That's the two of, uh, the two of swords, like surface level communication. Oh no, I just love my family. My family's so great realizing that no that's that's a lie right and the ten of wands there's some kind of heavy communication that either you need to bring out or this ten of wands is burdens responsibilities feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders that you don't have help and that you don't have support or you don't trust another individual around you. But is this stemming from something from your past? I feel like you have something new here on the horizon and I, it, whatever, work and career. But when I got that, you know, saying I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind, this is the money. This is a new money path. And this is like someone trying to steal a commitment or something from you. What is stealing your energy? And like I said, I think it's closer to home than you realize. So again, it's like, no, I don't want to look at it. I'll take a look at it. This hangman is for you to gain a new way of thinking and understanding about the situation. What you didn't understand is going to be highlighted for you. And with this beat up and burnt out, it's like somebody wasn't helping anyways. It's like you were doing all the work and keeping it one sided. And you're like, no, 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 I'm not. I, no, um, I'm not doing all the work. Yeah, you are. This person is impulsive, or this person rushes things. And here two pentacles weigh up your options. Do I stay on this path? But something in your gut is telling you right here the high priestess secrecy or mystery or somebody is not telling you all the information so you're sitting here with i don't know doesn't matter who this person is could be a co-worker could be some kind of love relationship and this person is telling you surface level conversation not telling you the full situation so here this is like a need for you to highlight this as well. This is my all work and no play makes Johnny a doll boy. Do you have time to play? Do you have time to have fun? And you're like, yeah, I'm avoiding fun right now. I'm avoiding love right now. And the queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. The queen of cups. Typical court card is for cancer. This is a deep love and a deep understanding of what love means to you. Use your intuition. If you feel like somebody is juggling you or you're walking a tightrope with your boss, a relationship, trust your gut instincts. This is also my people pleaser mentality. It's making everyone around you here happy cancer. And then at the end of the day, you feel defeated and burnt out. It's a need for you to fill up your cup of love first. 
support putting yourself on the pedestal and don't shy away from the spotlight here this is also balancing your finances or keeping your life in balance okay I go to my job and then I'm going to do something nice for myself when I get home I'm going to go for a run I'm going to nurture my body I'm going to fill up my own cup of love this is also deep feel like deep feelings right here. What is your gut telling you to do? Emotionally withdrawn. Or there is somebody you're walking away from. This is walking away from a person, place, or a situation. Or a change in job, a change in location. And it's like you need to say something or speak up. Change is coming. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. Trust that the best is yet to come. So weigh up your options. Write down your pros and cons to a situation. Get honest with yourself. And you're like, yeah, but you know, I have to stay here because, you know, um, this is my family. But then again, you're living a lie, right? You don't want to live a lie. Or no, you know, I've made such good friends at work. But really, these friends are to only telling you surface level conversations. They're not deep, meaningful conversations. It's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be revealed right here. They're going to be highlighted. And you will be able to look to the future with a smile. Change is coming. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. So don't put your eggs all in one bas basket, which you're not. It's like, it's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be revealed. And you will be able to look to the future with a smile. And you are. You're smiling here. You are ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. Right here, the two of pentacles. Do I deposit here? Do I deposit there? Angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life healing big 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 healing accept archangel raphael's emerald green light while i enhance your strength strength card strong powerful and exciting opportunity awaits you don't avoid or it's like avoiding something that you want to commit to but you might even be telling that person, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get back to you. I feel like you just need to be honest with this person that this is draining me and it's boring to me. Hat, you'll be playing a different role. Told you you had your mind on my, your money and your money on your mind. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. I also feel like you're dealing with somebody who is indecisive about a connection, a job situation. And therefore, it's keeping you hung up in stagnancy. Apple, temptation will test you. Don't take the bait. Yeah, but I have to do it for my family because what if my family gets mad at me if I take a new opportunity or if I grow bigger than them? Oh. Too bad, so sad. Aunt, work, achievement, and success. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Go out and put out your resume. And I don't even feel like you're telling people about this. Because right here, this is heavy communication that you need to get off your chest. Or there's a heavy communication coming to you that is going to be highlighted for you of who this person is that you're hanging on to. Fire. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. 
you can have a love hate relationship with a job and then you go, Oh, well, you know, you know, um, it's not so bad today. I'm, I, I, I'm just going to stick with it. So you live in a lie, right? Horse short journey, go on that journey, go on that journey. I think it's worth it. And you might even meet some kind of stranger or a handshake here and you'll be playing a different role. You are ready for more here, Cancer. And it's like you having this beautiful glow about you. Arcway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. Vaz Vase, a secret admirer. So here, this is somebody who's avoiding of expressing, expressing of feelings. Or you have been tiptoeing around some kind of commitment. So whether it's you or another person, because I can read it both ways. Some of you, someone is trying to steal a commitment or it's stealing your time and energy and it's closer to home than you think. This is also sneaking away from some kind of commitment because it's not rewarding to you and you have some kind of secret admirer or this person, you know, admires you. Gong, an exciting event. Bell, an announcement. Wow. Okay. And this is some kind of heavy truth. So this could be like somebody coming in at a left field, a truth bomb. Or this is your truth bomb. You're just not going to live a lie. This You're going to be who you are and you're ready for more. You're blossoming and thriving here. And nobody can stop you. The only person stopping you and hanging you up is you here, Cancer. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and cancer. If you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.